there's more to science than what you see on the surface. Let's dive in. When animals travel from one place to another, this is known as migration. Did you know sharks do this too? My favorites, the whale sharks, travel distances up to 12,000 miles. That's like going from Alaska to Florida three times. You and I can actually help track whale sharks by just taking a picture. Every whale shark has a unique spot pattern, kind of like a fingerprint. You can actually tell which whale shark you're looking at and where they've been. Thanks to these fingerprint-like spot patterns, scientists know that whale sharks migrate to 20 hotspots around the world. And each year, at least 70% of the whale sharks return to the same spot. How do whale sharks migrate with such accuracy? Sharks have senses just like humans. They can see, hear, taste, touch, and smell. But sharks have an extra sense. Electricity! Sharks have an organ to sense electricity called Ampullae of Lorenzini. The ampullae of Lorenzini, named after their founder Stefano Lorenzini, are hundreds of tiny pores on the nose of a shark. Each pore leads to a jelly-filled tube that ends in a ball called the ampulla. The jelly in the tube is highly conductive, allowing the electricity outside of the shark to travel inside. The organelles called cilia at the bottom of the ampullae detect electricity and send little sensory messages to the brain. These ampullae of Lorenzini can detect one billionth of a volt from three feet away. Let's put that into perspective. Ever touch a 9 volt battery to your tongue? Put your tongue on both the positive and negative terminals. Did you feel that? That's wild. Now imagine doing that to a 1 volt battery. You might still be able to feel it. Now imagine 1 billionth of that. There's no way you could feel that. But a shark can. Since magnetism and electricity go hand in hand, scientists believe that sharks use the magnetic fields of the Earth to sense their direction. Kind of like an organic compass or GPS. This is a part of the reason why large sharks can't be held in captivity. Aquariums are built out of cement, which is held together by metal bars. The sharks could sense the electricity and magnetism produced by the rusting rebar and were attracted to it. They ended up ramming their snouts into the cement. Speaking of snouts, let's talk about smell. Did you know two thirds of a shark's brain is dedicated to smell? For us humans, that's much less. There are certain smells that a shore produces, just like how coffee smells different than a burger. The shore smells kind of like a stink beacon. So if a shark is swimming towards the shore, the smell gets stronger. But if they're swimming away, the smell gets less and the shark turns around. Now back to whale sharks. Scientists believe that sharks use their senses of electricity and smell to navigate. Now this part blows my mind. Whale sharks travel 12,000 miles every year to spots that take up as little as 0.000007% of the ocean. <laughs> Holy cannoli, that is crazy! That's like you navigating from Alaska with just a compass and your nose and making it all the way to Florida. But not just Florida, your favorite coffee shop there. Now that's amazing! Thanks for watching my video!